Something insane is happening right now. There is this thing called match fixing. Match fixing is undoubtedly one of the most evil activities in the world of sports today. The first incidence of match fixing was reported to have occurred in 1898 when Stoke City and Burnley intentionally drew in that year's final test match to ensure they were both playing in the first division the next season. Today as we speak, match fixing is still a problem and the funny thing is the more technology advances, the more sports advances, the more bizarre it gets. I was actually told that I will be given access to the VIP group and also have access to correct matches for two days. The more ugly a match fixing becomes. I already made 15,000 naira payment. So I told him, okay, I don't have 20,000 to pay. Can you please refund my 15,000 back for me? And that was the end of it. The person refused till today. This is not one of those fake stories. A few days ago, I bought a fixed multi game. They told me it's 100% win. I trust them and buy the game from them. I was happy with the game from them, but at the end of the game, I saw that I had lost. I messaged them and asked why. They blocked me. I was asked to pay another 10k, which they said was manipulation fee or so. I sent it and was asked to pay another 15k, of which I also paid totaling to 40k. I didn't get my ticket. Instead, I was asked to pay another 14k, which they said is the final payment. I didn't pay it and that's how all my money was gone. In the month of November 2023, one of the biggest scandals of match fixing was unraveling. I recently joined a channel of football predictions. The guy showed me tickets of correct scores that were successful. I decided to give it a try. Next day, I paid to 50 USD and sent the ticket. Once the game started, even before halftime, I discovered that the teams won't make a successful outcome. And it was all centered around one dream and a web of lies promoted by self-proclaimed tipsters and gurus on social media. I happened to stumble upon some of them and I wondered why. After making all this payment of 30k, I long waited for the game for like two days. By then I started to think of me being scammed by him. So the next day he posted another match. I quickly chatted him up to drop the game for me this time around. He dropped the game for me but guess what? It was not correct. I was heartbroken and devastated. So over the last few weeks, I wanted to solve the mystery, the mystery of match fixing, a mystery that had managed to fool so many, a mystery that had led many into depression and total poverty. But what I found was a story, a story that left many defeated, devastated and suicidal. He hadn't replied until the next day where I discovered I was blocked on WhatsApp, Telegram, removed and banned from the VIP group. I can't explain how devastated I was. A strong migraine immediately hit and I couldn't stop thinking. I really don't like to recall the experience. In short, it was horrific. And once again, my biggest fear was revealed. This is not ending soon. This is just the beginning. Some people think that the story of match fixing begins and ends with matches being fixed, outcomes being manipulated. But that is wrong. Match fixing today is a crime. It is a crime that requires investigation. And it is a crime that is worth trillions. The year is 2018. It is a time when the whole world is preparing for the football FIFA World Cup to be held in Russia. The perfect time to fix and manipulate a football match. Our story unfolds in Saudi Arabia, where a referee 
Fahad Al Mirdasi is scheduled to referee the Saturday's Kings Cup final. And in this match, Fahad Al Mirdasi decides that it is the game to fix. Unknown to him, his 40th day had arrived. As he surely went for the big move, this time round approaching the Al Ittihad chief, Hamad Al Senai. He sends a text message requesting for payment in return to help them win the match. Unfortunately, Hamad Al Senai turns down the offer and proceeds to forward the WhatsApp messages to Saudi Arabian Football Federation officials, leading to the arrest of Fahad Al Mirdasi, who was later banned for life for attempt on match fixing. But that is not all, because we haven't even talked about players who gamble, bet, and share insider information. In the summer of 2019, Kiran Trippier revealed to his friends through WhatsApp he was moving to Madrid from Tottenham. His friends later gambled and won big. This letter led to Kiran Trippier being suspended for 10 weeks and fined £70,000 for breaching the betting rules. And to make it worse, it never ended with Kiran Trippier. The trend of players betting and getting away easily doesn't appear to be stopping soon. Sandro Tonali banned for 10 months in 2023 and fined €20,000. Ivan Tony, a Brentford FC player, banned for 8 months. The question, the question you're probably asking yourself right now is why? Why are players betting and gambling? So let me pose you a new question. If FIFA president were to bet on Portugal winning the 2026 World Cup, it is unlikely that he will still remain the FIFA president after that big bet. And this, this emphasizes a new problem. The fixed matches, betting craze. Betting on fixed matches today holds the potential to get rich quick, especially if the bets were to be successful. Today, there are social media accounts literally dedicated to selling and offering fixed matches, aka insider info for betting. How much of this information is real? is something, something that is extremely hard to tell. If that is where the story of match fixing ended, then it would be a shoddy one. But where the story of match fixing and betting on fixed matches arises is the beginning of something else, money laundering and something much bigger. The year is 2023, a time when sports betting is at its peak, a time when the festive mood is also ripe. Everyone is in need of instant money. Sport lovers and gamblers are desperate for quick money. The demand for quick ways of making money in this scenario creates a problem, creates a problem to be solved. But who is there to solve this problem? And how is the problem to be solved, you ask? Your savior in this situation is a social media user. This social media user is known as a tour of fixed matches. A self-proclaimed guru of match fixing. Let's, Let's win and win celebrate, celebrate together. together. Fixed to inside the info from trusted source winning, winning back, back to back. back. Chance, chance for you to you change your thoughts. thoughts. Strictly 100% fixed with no chance, chance of losing. Winning, winning guaranteed. guaranteed. Don't, Don't miss this info. And guess what? He promises that you can too. Another, Another congratulations. congratulations. Congratulations by esteemed, esteemed subscribers. subscribers. I'm here I'm to here bring to out the poor from, from poverty. poverty. Let, Let me know if you're tired, tired of poverty. poverty. That's, That's simple. simple. And here is where we notice the script begins to emerge. A two row fixed matches promises three things. Three essential things. That you can win big, that it can happen quickly, and anyone can do it. And he's a source that can be trusted. A two row is just the tip of the iceberg, where all tipsters, punters, and bookies are relentlessly telling people that insider fix matches, VIPs, name them, everything that they promote gloriously and religiously on social media is the best way to make money quickly, is a big lie. It 
it is a Ponzi scheme. Everything you are told about fixed matches and VIPs is extremely fake when we consider people like you, you my viewer watching this video. Yeah, we agree that fixed matches can make money, but it only makes money for people like Aturo. They will make money by swindling you and promising you fake non existing stuff. When I look further into the world of match fixing, I see the same patterns being used repeatedly over and over again. The promise of a VIP source, the promise of a betting strategy, the promise of a betting hack, the promise of a fixed match source, marketed and packaged in such a way that you leave anyone thinking that this is the real thing. This is the real deal. Take your time to find my VIP links. I'm the only admin who is transparent enough to post my VIP link for my subscribers to join. I'm not afraid to show my winnings because I know I'm legit. Join my VIP and confirm yesterday's winning by yourself. You won't regret. For the scam to be successful, the scammers apply basic marketing techniques to convince their audience. Clan's testimonial is one example. These fake testimonials are created using fake apps, AI, artificial intelligence, or random people paid to act and convince you that the testimonials are actually the reality. Hi bro, I would like to say your service is on point. Very happy with it and my dad and I like the way you speak to your customers as well. Keep up the good work, check out my winning sleep bro. And to ensure that they have completely fooled you, they always include a small crumb of truth because when the deal is too perfect, we tend to ask why? Why is the deal so amazing? Good things never come easy or fast as these scammers always portray and sell fake correct scores to you people. And you end up in tears. None of these scam channels will tell you this bitter truth because all they care is to scam you and take your money. Please stay here. Congratulations in advance for those who purchased our ticket bet. Because we know very well all that glitters is not gold. In our case, you are desperate for money. Just like other sport lovers who have been fooled and scammed by Arturo and his friends, you are in need of quick cash. You want to ensure that your 2024 is an amazing year where you are living the dream life promised by the world of sports betting. So you are vulnerable. Your vulnerability in this scenario is the perfect character that Arturo and his friends are looking for. Greed and urgency has clouded your decision-making abilities. So when Arturo and his friends present you this exaggerated offer, an offer that promises you quick money in two days, quick money in one day, quick money in one month. How could I fault you for believing? For a scam to be perfect, it has to leave the scammer blameless. And this is where the second form of match fixing presents itself. Across social media pages, sport lovers are being offered games and predictions for free. They are winning and winning streaks are forced down their throats. They are forced to believe that these tipsters offering the free matches are the best and they are supposed to follow them religiously. But the problem? This is all but a big ploy. You are being prepared to be cooked and finally eaten. The reason why these tipsters and free social media pages offering you free predictions offer you these matches so that you win is to lead you into a state where you can no longer differentiate between the truth and lies. And that point, when you finally get to that state, that is when they attack. You are pitched betting links, you are pitched new betting websites with a promise of bonuses, with a promise of deposit codes, with a promises of very amazing lucrative offers when you sign up for the first time on those betting websites. But the moment you sign up, that is when you realize you can no longer withdraw your money. Your money is stuck forever in those betting accounts. You can only deposit, but there is no withdrawal. And at that time, you have no one to blame. Because when you decide to blame someone, you will be presented a series of terms and conditions that you were never made aware of before subscribing, before signing up to that new betting website. If you are lucky enough, you won't fall for that particular technique. But you need to know that the scammers are not resting. 
they will be coming back this time round coming back with a more amazing offer lucrative offer the half time full time fixed matches something that any sports gambler desires to get every single day in this scenario aturo and his friends they will only need a following of social media users who are interested in their particular betting tips so Aturo will divide his followers into nine groups, giving the nine outcomes of the halftime full time to each particular group. As you all know, one of the outcomes must win. So at the end of the day, when one of the outcome wins, the winning group will continue trusting in Aturo. So from the first winning group, Aturo will once again get nine groups after dividing them. This time round, sending them nine different outcomes of halftime full time once again. Once again, one of the groups will be winning. And this time round, because you have won two times with a two on halftime full time matches, you will actually have no opinion other than believing. You will trust in Aturo completely. And this is when Aturo will ask you for money. You will be asked to pay huge sums of money before you are sent a guesswork opinion. Because in this scenario, Aturo is doing nothing but guesswork. For Aturo to remain in business after scamming you this time round, you will apply these two critical elements. The first one, blaming yourself. Aturo will accuse you of sharing the fixed info. Aturo will accuse you of leaking the message. Aturo will accuse you of betting more than the required amount. Aturo will tell you all the lies that there is a fixed regulated amount that is supposed to be staked on a given fixed match. All you need to know, these are nothing but pure lies. And if you haven't yet believed in Aturo, Aturo will make you believe that you are missing on something super big, something super incredible. Aturo will make you believe that it is your fault, it is your fault that you are poor, it is your fault that you are losing day after day. No one is to blame for your future situation but yourself. If you want to become successful, then become successful. The second technique, though innately present, will involve Aturo creating a telegram or a WhatsApp group that is closed. You can't comment in this particular group so that you do not communicate with the other scammed victims. In fact, Aturo and his friends will threaten to block you, delete you, if you threaten to report them to the authorities or expose their hideous acts. Recognizing the common scamming techniques being used takes you off an easily scammable state and brings awareness to the fact that you are being lied to. Fixed matches exist, but you, you my viewer, you are in no position to acquire fixed matches. But ultimately, to prevent yourself falling for such scams, there is one final piece to this story. A final lesson I had to learn that shielded me from the scamming world. A lesson on sports betting. Winning big in sports betting is technically possible. Others might win the lottery, others might win the jackpot, others might win a multi-bet with very high odds, and it is far much easier. But on fixed matches, that is way far from easier. If you are being promised a fixed match, a VIP service, a betting strategy, a betting hack that promises to make you money, quick money in a short period of time, then that is the biggest red flag you need. Realizing that fixed matches are real, but I am in no position to access them, was the first step in stopping myself from getting scammed any further. But there was one final last thing for me to do. I had to stop buying the dream and start doing something. Something that didn't involve me hoping or relying on luck to be rich or fixed matches on social media to make millions of money. Because doing that ultimately made me a prey. A prey in the match fixing jungle. The perfect prey for Arturo and his friends to pounce on. You just